If you're like me, you're probably concerned about being prepared in the event of an emergency power outage. Now, as soon as I say that, most of you will probably think of a backup gas generator that you have to fill, you have to take it out, it's noisy, you have to figure out a way to get that power to your home, but there is a much simpler solution and a much cheaper solution. So let's check it out. This right here, folks, is the car generator. Now, before I show you the specifics of this, I just wanna kind of show you the idea. So instead of having a generator like this one that you have to pull out, figure out how to start it, if you haven't started it, if you left fuel in it, that can be a real nightmare, not to mention the noise levels of a gas generator. This, however, harnesses the power from your gas or diesel engine, and you're able to use that energy to power certain devices in your home. Now let's show you the specifics here. Um, this is a super genius idea and it's so versatile in that you can use this with camping, with backup power, multiple different situations, and it's very compact, so much more compact than a regular generator. So we'll show you how this works here. So basically we just have a strap that is adjustable on the back end there. So you can set it up however, whatever height you want. We have a digital readout here that shows you how many volts. We're currently at 12.3 volts um, without it running or anything. And then we have these cables that come out of the bottom. And this is a really cool feature of the car generator. Um, we're able to feed this or route it any which way to where we can still close our hood. And then right here we have a quick connect. So this goes to the car generator and this end goes to our battery. So just like connecting jumper cables, we have red to the positive or the red side and black to the negative or the black side. Now here on the inside of the unit, you'll notice two GFCI outlet plugs here. We have a USB and then we also have a system status. Um, once we turn this on, we'll see that the system is normal. We'll show our input levels and our output levels as well. So some of you might say, well, this is just a glorified inverter with clamps and that's basically all it is, um, but the way this is designed and engineered is really smart in that this is completely waterproof, weatherproof, and I love the quick connect. That makes it super easy to connect these and you're not struggling with the whole system. You can just put the clamps on, let it hang, put this on, hook it up, and you're done. Now with that, if you don't wanna use these clamps, um, a lot of people say that if you don't have a really tight connection, these could start to get hot depending on how much current is going through them, depending on the demand. But as you can see, we have a permanent connection here. This is part of the kit that you can get. And this other end also has a cover. So you can leave it under the hood, no problem. And then as soon as you wanna hook it up, you just plug it right into this guy. As you can see, this is a very heavy duty system, very easy to plug in and you're good to go. Putting these battery terminals on permanently was very easy. It only took me about five minutes to do that and it's a permanent connection. So as you can see, it's extremely basic and very simple to set up the car generator on your vehicle. Now with that, there is a few downsides. Um, you'll notice that the car generator is sitting on the front of the vehicle. So if you have your vehicle on the street or in your driveway and you're trying to power devices in your home during a power outage, it could be easy for someone to come and just cut that thing right off the front of the vehicle. Being as it has the protective plastic around it, it is a little bit more bulky and you can't put it inside the hood and close it. So that is one downside of the car generator. But if you have it in an area where you're not uh, worried about people trying to steal it, then this thing is a super valuable thing to have. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably saw our video on how we can actually plug this into our gas furnace so that we can have heat in the winter months. We can also plug this into a fridge or a freezer. The output of this particular model is a 1000 watt with a 2000 watt surge. So if something surges immediately when it kicks on and then it goes back down, this will go up to 2000 watts. You can get this in as large of a 3000 constant watt and a 6000 watt surge, but you do have to have certain things like a high output alternator. All right, so we're gonna show you this in action. We're gonna plug it into our inverter. We're gonna turn the power on here, and then we're gonna bring this over to our furnace, or in your instance, you could bring it to a freezer or a fridge or anything that you wanna power. All right, so this is our demo furnace we have here in the garage made by ACIQ. We're going to go ahead and take this top cover off 
And you'll notice right here something that's a little bit different. Um, on your gas furnace, you probably will see a switch here, but as you can see, we have an outlet and we have a pigtail that goes to our condensate pump and this one actually goes to the furnace. And the advantage here is that we can simply unplug this. This will never have any power going to this pigtail. And it's just like plugging and unplugging any other appliance like a toaster or a microwave. And then we can plug this into our power source. In this case, our car generator. All right, our inducer just kicked on. As you can see, we're plugged in straight from the car generator. I'm gonna show this fully firing up gas burning, um, fan coming on and everything, just to show you how uh, nicely this product works. So the first thing you'll notice is that our hot surface igniter comes on. You can see that glowing there. And then afterwards we'll have ignition. There we go. After about 30 seconds of ignition, our indoor fan will come on and this is going to preheat for about 30 seconds here. And as you can see, our fan is going here. We've got about 700, almost 800 CFM of air coming out, nice and warm. So let's check out the truck and see what we got. System is normal. We see that our output is well below 100%. We're not hardly putting out the max uh, level here. Um, everything is green. If this was to get to a certain point where it was pulling too much out of the battery, the cool part about this is that it will turn off automatically. You can change some settings in here to adjust that, um, but it's quite a smart inverter and a really nice design. Now, this is a little bit alarming. I don't have the truck running. As you could see, everything is still working good, but you wanna make sure that you keep the battery topped off. You don't wanna force that inverter to turn off and possibly damage your battery. So you're gonna to wanna to come out here and start the vehicle from time to time and make sure that it has enough juice. But a lot of people have also asked, can you just leave this running? And you absolutely can. You can leave it running as long as you want it's not going to damage anything. That's what they're designed for. And they're also way quieter than a gas generator. So there's many advantages to having the car generator. Now that we have that quick connect, I can throw this in the back of the truck and basically have my truck set up as a generator wherever I go, which is pretty darn awesome. Now, if you wanna learn more about how we have our furnace set up to where it's super easy to unplug and plug into an alternate power source like this one, click on this video right here and we'll show you how cheap and easy it is to convert your gas furnace to an outlet. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.